account management, authentication, and authorization services, amongst others, are key essential components for both security and regulatory compliance of any organization. With inadequate security measures, your Active Directory environment can be compromised, allowing malicious actors to steal your organization's sensitive data. Hence, it is important to secure Active Directory which manages your enterprise accounts, authentication and authorization. Let's review Active Directory security. Number one, Active Directory security. Ensure that domain controllers are physically and logically protected and verify that there are sufficient security controls and measures in place. Manage security groups. Security group membership determines the permissions and privileges that a domain user possesses. Unauthorized changes to a security groups can lead to a large scale data breach. So ensure continuous monitoring of security and privilege groups to detect and respond to such changes immediately. Reduce the number of domains in your directory and remove duplicate or unnecessary groups. Ensure that Kerberos vulnerabilities are regularly assessed in the Active Directory and resolved. Check and verify that Active Directory servers are hardened against the latest CVs and other vulnerabilities and all the issues are mitigated. Ensure that trust relationships across the forests are regularly audited and reviewed. User Management Ensure user addition and deletion in Active Directory is done on time and based on the least privilege principle. Make sure accounts are created with expiration dates for temporary staff. Check and verify that user service accounts with minimal privileges corresponding to the requirements of the services using them. Ensure unused service accounts are identified and disabled or deleted. Review non-expiring passwords. Ensure an account policy is set for account lockouts and strong password policies maintained across the organization through GPU. Check the user and group membership permissions to ensure permissions are appropriate and that users have only the access they need to perform their job functions. Audit policy. Ensure audit of user management actions including creation, deletion, password resets and permission changes. Also include critical changes including creation, deletion and other changes made to groups, OUs, computers and other AD objects are captured in real time. Ensure details of the user stamp, timestamp and source IP or system is included. Check and verify that policy tracks all changes made to your critical group policy, group policy object, settings such as password, account lockout, user rights, assignments and other policies. Ensure object level auditing is configured to monitor changes to your active directory objects like files and directories. Ensure email SMS notifications are triggered based on the severity of the event when malicious user actions are detected such as creations and deletions of domain admin, changes to AD schema, domain level permission changes, clearing of log files, etc. Ensure all the logs are collected and integrated to an SIM for monitoring. Make sure logs are retained for compliance and are secured. Point number five, system access. Command prompts can be used to send run sensitive commands that can give high level access to users and evade other restrictions on the system. Hence, ensure command prompt is disabled to all users. Make sure removal media like USB drives, DVDs, CDs, drives and also anonymous SID enumeration is disabled. Make sure that Active Directory replication is happening and that any inconsistencies in the replication processes are identified and resolved. Check and verify that Active Directory server cannot be accessed over the internet. Ensure that no unwanted applications are installed on the domain controller. Windows PowerShell is widely used to manage critical Windows server resources such as users, groups, 
GPUs and files etc. Hence ensure PowerShell logging is performed using logging with transcript or enabling script block logging or enabling module logging. Privilege access management. Privilege access management is a comprehensive cyber security strategy that aims to control, monitor, audit and secure all human and non-human privileged identities and activities across an enterprise IT environment. Ensure a detailed inventory of all privileged accounts is maintained. Include accounts such as local admin, enterprise admin, domain admin, schema admins and other privileged users. Check and verify all privileged accounts are secured with strong passwords and multi-factor authentication. Check and verify all privileged accounts and user activities are logged and monitored and access reviewed regularly. Make sure critical event activities of privileged users are alerted with immediate messages and alerts. Point number 7 Server Security Ensure no unsupported or outdated server operating system is installed. Make sure the server installed with antivirus and latest patches are updated regularly. Make sure regular scans are performed. Ensure security patches are tested and installed regularly. Check endpoint security settings such as network access control, data loss prevention technologies are in place, are properly functioning and are up to date. Check and verify that the access to Active Directory server has MFA enabled. Point number 8 Encryption Since LM hash is weak and prone to hacking, ensure server does not store LAN manager hashes of the passwords in the local security accounts manager SAM database or Active Directory. Also scan for weak Kerberos encryption. Point number 9 BCP DR Ensure primary and secondary domain controllers are implemented and replication happens successfully. Check and verify that a disaster recovery site is in place and business continuity process is implemented and tested regularly. Finally, check and verify that Active Directory backup is taken regularly and restoration testing is performed. For more videos on information security and GRC, please subscribe to the channel. Do provide your feedback, like and share the video. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.